Okay, so we're at the end of another training session for the lads this evening, and we're joined by Jamie Tunstall. Jamie, that's uh, what, two weeks into pre-season training. How's it going so far? Yeah, really good. Um, excellent numbers so far. We've had close to 20 at least in every training session, um, which has been great. Um, all of the old faces are, are back with us and, and one or two new faces as well. So, um, yeah, tough one tonight. Probably the toughest one the lads have done so far. So, um, yeah, good one. Good one for the legs, certainly. And it's, it's been, I think, it's 232 days now since they played the last competitive game. Right. So uh, at this stage, is it all about fitness or is it is it ball work that you're working on? Yeah, we've had the balls out in every single session from the start. Today was the first time we did a little bit with without the ball and that was the first time we've done that. Um, the first uh, three sessions so far have been ball from ball rolling from minute one. Um, and it's been good. Yeah, it's all about just, like you say, to balance and active, getting the lads used to kicking the ball around again. But also um, getting, making sure they're, they're ready. Uh, obviously, step up to the first division this year. It means we're going to have to be uh, as fit as ever, really, if we're going to com be competitive. And you, you talk about stepping up to the first division now. Obviously, the fix just came out this morning. Everybody buzzing and excited about that. Um, what were your thoughts on seeing the games coming out of the hat there? Yeah, um, it's listen. It's really exciting. It, we could have we could have played anybody, and um, you get that buzz, don't you, when the fixtures first come out? Um, Thornaby will be a really tough test. Um, they did, they did well since they've been promoted. I think that the year they did get promoted, um, although they finished second, they were the, they were probably the best side that we played. They beat us quite comprehensively on the day. Um, so they'll be a really tough game. Um, I know the manager uh, Eddie will have them very well organised and they play a good brand of football. So we'll get a we'll get a real tough test. Um, and then Newcastle Benfield again, a very solid first division outfit, will be a, a really tough place to go, and it'll be. Um, it'll be a tough, tough test for the lads. Um, then I think we, we have seen them at home um, again, who are an established first division side. But you're never going to get an easy fixture where you where you where you walk in and say, oh, "We're going to get three points a day." That's that's definitely the case. That was the case in the second division, to be honest. So it'll be even harder this year. So yeah, tough start, but um, one the lads are looking forward to. Yeah, I think you've got um, six of the first eight games are, are away. Yeah, um, which isn't ideal, but. You know, we we were good on the road last two years, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it, I'm I'm not so sure as to why we we set up probably the same way at home as what we do away, to be honest. But um, yeah, um, the lads seem to get a feel for for, for being away, and um, hopefully that form continues next year because it'd be good to get off to a good start. But there's no doubt about it; everybody wants to be playing in front of a pack millfield uh, next year, definitely. Yes, and uh, so if it comes to Division One, any any set, any hopes or goals for the new season? Just to finish high as we can, um, be competitive in every fixture, um, and make sure that at the end of every every game, people think they know they've been in a game. Um, we, we we've got aspirations to, to finish as high as we can, and it's it's a short term plan and a long term plan really for the football club. Um, when I first came in, it was ultimately about getting back in the first division, and, and that's what we've done. And and now we'll set realistic targets. Uh, but this year, it's about um, being. Being, being competitive and, and, and finishing high up as we can, and I think it'll be a tight league. I think I think there's there'll be two or three who we expect to be strong, um, but I certainly don't see anybody as as, as, a, as a weak side. So I think the the rest of the division will be really competitive, and um, you're going to have to really earn your corn this year if you're going to get three points wherever you go on a Saturday. And you you talked about a packed mill field there. The season tickets will go on sale this weekend coming up, um, and we've also for the first time got a, a special match day package that sponsors or yeah. corporate. Um, businesses or even you know lads or groups of friends can take advantage of um what would you say to the supporters and, and organizations in terms of deciding if they want to back the club this season yeah well i think obviously um understandably um clubs like businesses have been through a really tough time over the last couple of years um and certainly from the club the players management team um we want as much support as we can get the, the crowd have been fantastic since i've came in and the numbers have gone up year on year and you sh supporters, you get a feel for the for the for the for the supporters when you when you're here and um, the they've, they've travelled away with us now and and that's great. That as, as a manager that gives you a real buzz um, and I know as, as a player in, in previous years that does as well. So yeah, it, it it'll be fantastic if we can get those those match day sponsors uh, pushed on. Um, that'd be a really big help to the football club. Um, and, and and on the on the pitch, I know the players are, are really really keen to have a have a, a big support next year and and show the show the supporters what we can do. We haven't. We haven't been able to show the the supporters as much over the last year, so it's about hopefully giving them something back and showing. Whilst whilst the games haven't been played, we've still been doing our bit. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jamie Tunstall.